how to prevent weight stigma, some strategies on how to prevent weight stigma for healthcare professionals. So something that might seem very obvious is to treat every patient with empathy, respect, and dignity. Even though this seems, again, very obvious, it is crucial to remember that we are healthcare providers and every patient deserves to be treated with empathy, respect, and dignity. Create a safe space for patients to discuss their health concerns and feelings openly. And something that's very important is that before discussing weight loss strategies, perform all the appropriate medical exams and laboratory tests. I'm not saying here that we should always adopt a weight neutral approach. I know that weight loss is a very important strategy for treating IIH. However, it's really important for this patient to feel seen, to feel examined, to feel that there's more things that they that, that were analyzed and not just the weight, that the physician wasn't just focusing on her weight or his weight. So perform all of the appropriate medical exams and laboratory tests. Then take a comprehensive approach to healthcare. So don't just recommend weight loss. Try to find other alternatives. Try if medication is necessary, recommend medication. If another approach is necessary, recommend another approach. Try to give multiple options and try to ask the patient if the patient is comfortable with the options that you're giving not just focus on weight. Offer resources such as educational materials, support groups, and for me, the most important thing is referrals. So if after your examination, you realize that this patient will benefit from weight loss therapy or weight loss strategies, try to refer the patient to a weight loss specialist, to an obesity specialist, to a dietitian, but don't try to just say, eat 1200 calories and exercise more, or don't try to do it yourself, try to refer to, an, to a specialist. Also ensure that all healthcare settings are inclusive and accommodating. Yeah, you know that this is difficult. It's not something that's gonna happen from one day to the next day. Of course, this requires a process, but if you're able to adapt some of your medical equipment and some of your like healthcare setting to uh, a more weight inclusive one, this is going to make patients feel way more seen and way more taken into consideration in your practice. And also, it's really difficult to recommend weight loss or to recommend decreasing blood pressure if you don't know what their initial weight was or their blood pressure was. Engage in self-reflection to recognize personal biases and actively work to challenge, challenge them and overcome them. So even though uh, this is difficult and we all have in more or less degree some level of weight stigma in our brains because we've all grown, grown up with these. So from the movies that we were watching to the cartoons, there was always the obese character that was the one that was overeating, the one that wasn't exercising, the one that was sad, the one that was alone. So all of these ideas have been engraved in our brains throughout our lives and it's really difficult to like unlearn them but this is something that we specifically as healthcare professionals we need to try to sort of dissolve all of these preconceptions and all of these stereotypes from our brains to give our patients the best care possible. So raising awareness about this and advocacy is extremely important. It's crucial for promoting equality and fairness in healthcare settings. It helps to challenge societal misconceptions and stereotypes associated with weight and body size. It also improves the access to appropriate diagnosis. So this is the most important thing, improving the access to appropriate diagnosis and treatment specifically for people with IAH, regardless of their weight and empower individuals with IAH or other obesity related conditions to speak out against weight bias and advocate for their healthcare needs. So addressing weight stigma and weight bias creates a supportive environment that fosters a positive patient provider relationship and improves overall IAH patient outcomes. <laughs>